Welcome to Mtoto News Insight. On to our top stories. The Deputy Speaker of the National Assembly, Dr. Joyce Laboso, unveiled her manifesto on the 6th of July 2017. She is aspiring for the gubernatorial seat of Bomet County under the Jubilee Party. Among the key issues in her manifesto include adopting sound economic policies to ensure transparency and accountability in the utilization of public resources, improving the agriculture sector and education in the county of Bomet. On the matter of education, Dr. Laboso has pledged to put up early childhood development centers in every primary school in the county. She, is, she also pledged to create a fund to cater for the unprivileged students in secondary schools, middle colleges and universities. They want change. They want a different Bomet. And we have promised the people of Bomet that Bomet is going to be transformed. That for Bomet is going to be different. That this Bomet, we are going to focus on development. Honorable Wavinia Ndeti is aspiring for the gubernatorial seat of Machakos County under the Wiper Party. Her manifesto includes issues pertinent to the county of Machakos. However, it is very unclear whether this agenda have anything to do with children. Her agenda includes offering high quality services delivery, providing clean water, a clean, sustainable environment, affordable healthcare facilities, modern infrastructure, among many others. These agendas appear to be significant to the development of the county, but they hardly affect children. Besides the provision of healthcare facilities, there is no mention of education, which is a pillar of development in the entire country. Thus, it is upon the aspiring candidates to explain what they have planned for the children of their counties besides education. On the other hand, Machako's governor, Dr. Alfred Mutua, promises improved social welfare of children. However, there has been lack of accountability for putting safety measures at schools, especially during the election period. Wale ambao tunajua haona hata chakula, na watoto wapati hata chakula. Watapata zile inaitwa food stamp ama vocha wanaenda kwa duka wanapewa chakula wanakula hakuna mtoto machakos atalala na njaa hata siku moja in the fourth schedule of the Kenyan constitution the function of the county government is to implement disaster management and in order to act on this function governors should highlight initiatives that will address children's safety to ensure that any danger is completely wiped out The Salaries and Remuneration Commission on Monday announced reviewed salary structures for state officers, including President uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, from 1.6 million to 1.4 million, the Deputy President from 1.4 million to 1.2 million, Cabinet Secretary and Attorney General from 1.05 uh, million to 924,000. Uh, permanent secretary from 824,000 to 765,000, among others. The review includes scra scraping of uh, seating allowances. This will save the government of Kenya 8.8 .8 billion. Um, for the state officers in the executive office of the national government, we have various categories which start from the president. The President of the Republic of Kenya, the reviewed monthly gross remuneration package, you don't need to write, we will provide this information, will be Kenya shillings 1.443750, down from the current of the high 1.650 thousand. The Deputy President from this new revised position will be 1.227 1.188 
down from 1.40 to 500. The cabinet secretaries, secretary to the cabinet, sec, cabinet, AG, chief of defense, and the group that is banded within that group will be having a fixed salary. And as mentioned earlier, these are fixed salaries for the term period of service of 924,000 from the current 1056, 1 million and 56,000. The principal secretaries and the group that sits within that band have a reviewed salary of 765,188 from the current up of 874,500. The commanders of the various forces within the Defense Force, the KDF, and the band group that fall within that group will be at 747,461 from the 854 to 41. And the details of those groups will be uh, related or relayed to you immediately after this statement. Remuneration for the Senate and the National Assembly. The Speaker of the Senate and the Speaker of the National Assembly will be drawing a monthly package and fixed for the term of service of 1.155000. From the current 1.320. The Deputy Speaker of the Senate and the National Assembly will have a reviewed remuneration of 924,000 from the current 10, 1 million and 56,000. The leader of the majority and the Senate and both both the majority and the minority will be drawing a gross of 765,188 from 1 million and 20,000 member of the senate and member of parliament the national assembly will be drawing a gross of 621,250 from the current 710,000. At the county government, the county governor will be drawing a gross of 924,000 from the current 1,056,000. The deputy governor will be drawing a gross of 621,250 from the current 701441. The Speaker of the County Assembly and the CECs at the county will be drawing uh, 259,875 from the current 350,000. The member of the County Assembly, I'm sure a number of you are keen on this, not for any other reason, these are very important players in the leadership of the county government, will be drawing a gross of 144,375 from the current 165,000. Thank you very much, Mrs. Seram and the whole team. We have a few suggestions on how that money can be used. For starters, employing more children officers. Secondly, equipping child protection units. My name is Regina Mugura Mwangi, and I have a dream. My dream is to become a diplomat or a famed journalist. I'm currently studying international relations at USAU Africa. You see, over 1.2 million children in Kenya have disabilities. Only three out of 10 will enroll and complete school. Thanks to Andy, Action Network for the Disabled and others, I'm now that closer to achieving my dreams. Let's give others and their dreams a chance. Donate now. To make the dreams of children with disabilities come true, 
Simply donate as little as 10 shillings via Empress of Abel number 891300, account number Educate. 32 students, 2 teachers and a driver from Naivasha Mixed High School spent Friday night at Al Kalu Police Station in Nyandara County after being arrested at 9pm in a bar while drunk. Police found dozens of assorted alcoholic spirits and soft drinks laced with alcohol. Area OCPD Mr. Kosgei said, and I quote, we decided to detain them at the police station for the safety of the students. The students, 11 girls and 22 boys, were later released to the school's board management while their teachers were charged in court and their driver faced charges of drunk and disorderly conduct. Elsewhere, 10 boys from Manyata High School spent hours in Dede Girls Secondary School dormitory at night. The students were, however, suspended by their various schools. Migori County Police Commander David Kirui said investigations are ongoing. That is all for this week's uh, Total News Insight. Uh, please remember to subscribe to our page and follow us on social media on Twitter. Facebook and Instagram at Total News. My name is Peter from Total News. Thank you.